Welcome to Gateways to Glendale College. I'm your host, Andra Verstraight, and today we are celebrating Armenian Culture Day. Here at Glendale College, we like to celebrate all different cultures, and today happens to be Armenian Culture Day, where we're having a great celebration with food and some other booths which we'll walk you through. And in just a moment, if you can stay tuned, we're going to talk to our board president, Vahe Perumian. Well, hey, it's nice to have you here today. I'm glad you could make the time uh, to get away on a busy day. It's great to be on campus and anytime I can use an excuse not to drive all the way to UCLA. <laughs> and uh, what better than the Armenian Cultural Day to be on campus. It's a great occasion. And uh, as you said before, you know, we try to celebrate all cultures and all of the uh, variety of the diverse students that we have on campus. And this is just one, one of those. And uh, myself being of Armenian background, you know, I really identify with this and, and I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to see this on campus. Great, it's really great to have you here. Now I know you're hungry, so go get some of those kebabs. Thank you very much, thanks. I'm standing here with Tavin, and Tavin, you are the president of the Armenian Student Association, correct? Yes. Um, would you tell us a little bit about this day and how it all came together? Every year, the Armenian Students Association holds out its annual Culture Day. We've been having this event for more than 30 years, and the purpose of this event is to just demonstrate our culture to the Armenian diaspora here at Gundal Community College. As you can see, we have many historic displays, which include many great authors, Armenian authors, many great um, Armenian writers and artistic displays, and we also have books provided by Aubrey Bookstore. If uh, students are interested, they're more than welcome to buy the books. We have a great buffet right there. It includes a plate of kebab, rice, hummus, salad, and of course drinks. Later on, we'll be having dancers from Vartan and Siranush. They will be performing a slow dance. Uh, that's also an aspect of our culture. But overall, I would have to thank uh, the volunteers on my executive committee for putting such a great event. Um, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to put this event all by myself, but mostly I would have to thank my ancestors for fighting through um, all those words and genocide to preserve our culture, and if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to display such a beautiful culture. You know what, Tavin, you're a very well-spoken student, and it's thank really you. a pleasure to have you here, and I'm sure the whole Armenian uh, community is grateful that you're here yeah. to be able to put on an event like yeah, this Yeah, well, one. it's for them, so. Okay. Thank you yeah, so thank much. You. And thank I'm going to enjoy myself, and I'm having a kebab. Okay, awesome. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thanks. I'm standing in front of all of this delicious food, and we're going to get a little bit of an education about what this traditional feast is all about. So let me ask. All right, ladies. So I know this is hummus and this is rice. Yeah. Okay. Tell me. Tell me about the hummus and the rice. That's made with garbanzo beans. Yeah. And it's um, garlic. Gar so uh, yeah. You process it in the food processor. You make it. You squish it, and you put a lot of garlic, and then um, and then you basically it comes out like this, and then you put like um, olive oil and halabi bibar. It's uh, special, like kind of like. Um, like a red powder and it's spicy chili pepper okay and tell me what's different about um, this rice I noticed it has two different colors I think you guys use basmati rice is that correct yeah. Yeah. Um, okay so you uh, separate the um, the rice and then um, if you're gonna put one cup you uh, saute it first and then um, you put two cups of water because you put one cup so you double the water and then you let it boil and stuff um, and then you put a lot of uh, butter and then um, you just let it simmer, yeah, salt, and Very then you let buttery. it simmer, and then um, it drains the water out, and then it comes like that. Thank you, girls. Can I taste one for the camera? What is this? Just one little piece of chicken? We have chicken. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. How is the chicken prepared? More chicken and pork, please. So how is the chicken prepared? It's barbecued. We barbecue it fresh. Um, it's, it's marinated. Okay. Marinated with kamun, pepper, salt, red pepper, and onions. onions and garlic. It's all these flavors. You should try some. Can I grab one? Mm -hmm. Can you grab it for me? Actually, can you grab for it? Do you want which one? You want? That one, right? That one's good. Okay. It's not bitten. It's just cut. Don't worry. <laughs> all right. We're gonna try it. Mmm. It's really good, you guys. <laughs> I don't know about you, Scott, but I say it's time for lunch. Hey, everyone. Um, my name is Tavin, and I'm the president of the Armenian Students Association at GCC. Um, I would like to thank everyone for coming out and supporting our annual Culture Day. 
I mean, we've been having this annual culture day for more than 30 years, and I'm just so proud that um, we're having this event every year. So come around, um, have kebab, uh, it's great food. They're actually making it live so you can come and have a plate. Uh, stick around, we'll be having a dance performance by Vartan and Siranush. So come and support them and uh, have a great day everyone, enjoy it. dance performance by Vartan and Siranush Dance Group. So let's please welcome them. here with our dancers and I want to know uh, what group are you guys representing right now? We're from Vartan Sidanush Gavorkian Dance Academy. It's an international dance academy. We dance um, all culture dances, not just Armenian. Oh, that's great. And uh, what's your name? Lilith. Anush. Um, how long have you been uh, dancing? I've been dancing for about seven years. The same seven, eight years. Do you guys perform a lot? Yeah, basically we have a concert every weekend. Um, we're going to have a concert next year at Nokia Theatres, so come join us uh, to uh, congratulate our uh, teachers for having this dance studio for 15 years. Uh, it's going to be our 15th anniversary at Nokia Theatres, so come join us and uh, celebrate this wonderful event. I want to know where you guys, uh, where, what bought you guys well, we thought it would be a great opportunity to come and engage into GCC's events, so we thought it would be a great idea to perform one of our dances and to show the Armenian culture. We actually enjoyed very much. Uh, they actually performed a few minutes ago, and it was actually a really engaging, and it was so cool that I really wanted to dance. It is nice to meet you guys, and thank you for performing at GCC ASA. Hello GCC campus community. I want to thank everyone who came out and supported our annual culture day today. I especially want to thank all the students and faculty members who came out and supported our event. Obviously this event couldn't have been successful if it wasn't for all the volunteers and, um, and my executive committee. I couldn't have done it without them. I especially want to thank DJ Seva for playing such great Armenian songs and the dance group performed by uh, Vartan and Siranush International Dance Group. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce my sister Marie, who is also an executive member this year. So Marie, what do you think of our event this year? Thank you, Tavine. Overall, I thought it was wonderful, and I'd just like to say, for those who missed out, we had dance, we had dancers, we had music, we had historical displays, we had fresh food, hot, warm, sizzling food. And for those, who, honestly, who missed out, please come next year. If you guys would like more information, visit www dot gccasa.org. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tavine. Thank you.